assalamu alaikum beautiful people today in this short practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details nrcc slave beam guys this slave beam is being designed for four story commercial building they used here heavy steel reinforcement but without standard codes guys you can see clearly this is four story commercial building so this is mega project so here they did some common mistakes let me point out these mistakes the front of you let's get start guys if this video is helpful for you so you may like this video the width of the beam is 12 inches depth is 16 inches guys you can see clearly they used here four steel rods at the top four at the bottom but this is the wrong design that's why because at the tension they should use maximum steel rods at the top they should use minimum because concrete is strong in compression but it's weak in tension and two bars they used at the sides so here we have total 10 steel rods guys you can see the junction between beam and column they used here heavy extra steel reinforcement for the uh, joint guys you can see the length of uh, extra bars are 10 feet die of steel reinforcement is 20 millimeter or 6 suter you can say look at here guys they used here four extra steel rods at the top to resist shear stresses because shear stresses are maximum at the end of the support guys let me discuss its stirrups Guys, they used here 8 mm dia for stirrups with the spacing of about 7 to 8 inches. If you see its hooks, hooks are bent with 90 degree, but this is wrong. That's why because hooks should be provided with 135 degree, which is standard from IS and also from ACI. Guys, you can see the first stirrup should be placed with minimum 2 inches, but they placed with the distance of 9 inches. At the mid also this is equal which is about six uh, seven to nine inches if you see this junction so the stirrups should be placed closely to l by four distance the stirrups should be placed closely so therefore they used heavy steel reinforcement but without standard codes look at here guys actually it is important to use four steel rods at the bottom and two at the top and also guys you can see the development length is not enough guys you can see this is just about four inches so it should be minimum from is uh, 456 2000 it should not be less than 41d minimum it should be 41d and you can see the hooks hooks are bent with 90 degree as i told you before guys you can see the junction so here they didn't provide the extra rods but they provided here 10 steel rods, 4 at the bottom, 4 at the top. Guys, you can see. After this, they will provide steel reinforcement for slab, main bars and distribution bars. And they will also provide the crank bar and this because this is mega project guys you can see clearly the junction between beam and column etc maybe this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye